Where was the report? Uh, maybe my producer knows, maybe you know, maybe neither of you knows, but I just read a report in, in, a, in a left-wing source that we c- it's, it's going to be so long before we can actually transition to what is called a green energy world. Are you familiar with this latest report of saying that? Well, you're seeing different people. So, you know, there was a big UN person recently who had said something to that effect. Um, but what's what's basically happened is there's been this mythology. There's sort of two two ideas behind we should rapidly eliminate fossil fuels. One is they're causing this climate catastrophe that will become an apocalypse. Uh, number two is that they're rapidly replaceable by so-called renewables, mainly solar and wind. And what we've seen is all these countries have invested huge amounts in these renewables. They've given them huge favoritism and they've restricted fossil fuel investment, production and transportation on the lie that these unreliable renewables would replace them and it's failed. And so now we're short of fossil fuels and we have a global energy crisis. And so the idea that, oh, now it's going to work to rapidly replace them is even delusional people are stopping, are not as deluded anymore. Really? Uh, that's happy to hear. Uh, when GM and I mean, some, some, some of them, some of them are not as right, John okay, Kerry, that, yes. Joe Biden. Okay. Let's, yes. Let's no, no, I, that's unrealistic. Good, correct. I, I, uh, thank you for modifying it. GM announced that by 2030, it will not be producing anything except electric cars. A, do you believe that's true? B, why are they doing it? I doubt it's true. I mean, of course, Tesla only produces battery cars, so it's possible to be such a manufacturer. I mean, I think the basic thing that people don't get is that there's no scalable way to replace gasoline cars with EVs. And so you can have some minority of people doing it. But if everyone tries to do it, you're going to run into massive shortages of all the raw materials. We're already having skyrocketing lithium prices at a tiny scale of EVs. So why are they doing this? I think a combination of status trying to anticipate future government uh, mandates. And um, I think they probably haven't thought through the scalability issues. I, I, I doubt Mary Barra has fully, I think that's who runs GM, uh, has fully thought through these issues.